We have been watching a storm into parts of Colorado. That is a tornado warn storm and a tornado reported on this one. We've had storm chaser Kelly Williamson out there giving us some live pictures of this storm. He is on the phone with us now just east of Lamar, Colorado, as I mentioned, under that tornado watch. And, you know, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what you've seen. You know, Dr. Forbes, when we went to this, there was no tornado. We're not seeing one now. Did you see it earlier? No, I didn't see it earlier. I'm on a one just a little bit to the east. And this one I'm on right now, it's kind of intensifying just a little bit. In fact, it's kind of wanting to put down a wall cloud just a little bit there. It's uh, dropped down a couple of times, but it's just not... It's just not staying hooked, but it's trying. Yeah, we've seen those signs of rotation as well. Dr. Forbes was talking about that wall cloud. How long have you been following this storm and, and noticing that strengthening? I Just the last, probably the last 15 minutes, it started, uh, it dropped a couple wall clouds, and then they'll go right back up. And right before I come on the air, it had a pretty nice one, and now it's kind of gone away. And Kelly, can you tell us a little bit about the area where you're tracking this? It, it appears pretty rural in your picture, and that's the impression we have. Yeah, it's a pretty rural area, not many houses. Uh, if it's going to put one down, this would be the place for it to do it at. Absolutely. And where will your plans take you throughout the day today? Are you planning to stay in the eastern Colorado area? If, yeah, probably on these storms right here, the way it's been looking, I thought some more would blow up a little bit. But uh, these might be all that we get, so I'm going to stay with whatever we get. So I'm going to try and stay on this one. All right. Well, we are going to continue to follow your progress, your pictures as well with this tornado worn storm. And it does look off towards the right side of the screen, Kelly. Is that uh, some heavy rain that we're seeing, possibly some hail? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about the hail, but it's definitely heavy rain. Have you driven through any of that thus far? No, I haven't. I haven't got to the storm. I'm just pulling up on the storm right now, and uh, you can see right there again. It's kind of wanting to drop yeah. a little lowering down, but uh, it'll just try a little bit like that, and it just doesn't seem like it could quite get it. All right. Well, Kelly, keep rolling on that. We will be checking back in with you and get some more awesome video. Thank you. He's one of our great storm chasers that are out there in the field providing those views. We'll be back after the break with more on this triple threat. Welcome back. You are looking near Lamar, Colorado, and you are looking at a tornado, uh, likely that funnel reaching all the way towards the ground. You know, we've had chasers out there. We want to get right over to our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, for more analysis on this storm and many others, Dr. Forbes. Yeah, I'm not absolutely sure which storm this is, to be truthful with you. There are three storms not too far apart in southeast parts of Colorado. Two of them have had sighted tornadoes, definitely a tornado in progress there. We'll take a look here at uh, the... Uh, if you can go a split screen or something like that. Uh, here, just to the north and east of Carville, is a storm that is tornado warned uh, with a well-defined appendage on there. If I slide down then uh, off uh, farther to the southeast near Eads, there's another storm there near Eads in Colorado that is, uh, has a tornado has been spotted with that. So uh, I'm not absolutely sure near Lamar. I'm, I'm not finding anything that's really close to that. That may be sort of a, a general location for that. I'll continue along. Storm then chasers out there. Kelly Williamson, he is just east of Eads, Colorado. We showed you that tornado or that tornado warn storm during before the break. And, and Kelly, conditions are they getting worse by the second? Are you seeing that circulation? Any wall clouds? Uh, no, it, it's kind of it's got a little bit better. It's kind of not as quite as strong as it was. Have you got my stream up right now? Uh, we are looking at, I think we may be looking at the video from earlier where you actually did have that funnel, that tornado on the ground. Okay, I didn't know I had it on my stream too. The, uh, okay, yes, it, now it, we got it. It is moving. At first it was frozen, so I thought maybe it was a picture. We do see your stream. Okay, yeah, that's the picture I had of it earlier when it was sitting down, and it looked to be out in the middle of a field away from everything. Okay, so you're saying this was from earlier? Yes, this was about 10 minutes ago. And what's the storm doing right now? Has, has that tornado uh, fizzled? Uh, it looks like it has. It's moved farther to the north. It looked like it tried to set down about two or three more times. It come to about halfway to the ground, but uh, it, it, it looks like it's kind of gone away right now. It may be recirculating, but it's kind of moved away from me. And you are going to continue to track this one? Yes, I'm going to stay with it. All right, all right. Kelly Williamson, thank you so much for those, uh, this amazing show.
Welcome back. You are looking live near Eads, Colorado, where one of our storm chasers has been tracking this storm. Uh, we've seen a tornado and perhaps in the middle seeing a little bit of a funnel beginning to poke out of there. Carl Parker says absolutely, and uh, we'll have to see if that can make it to the ground. You know, that's just one of the areas, Carl, under a tornado warning as we speak. It's really lighting up out there. Yeah, it really is. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. Very charged atmosphere. You've got a lot of wind shear, very strong winds. Now in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, there's a lot of lift in the atmosphere. There's plenty of low-level warmth and humidity, and so storms are really going. And let's begin with the satellite and radar picture combined from North Texas. And uh, we're going to go back to that video right now. And there is a tornado. This is, again, near Eads, Colorado. And that is a uh, at least a funnel cloud. We can't see whether or not there's actually a suction spot on the ground there, but at least you've got a funnel cloud. We have seen tornadoes in this area already. There have been a number of them. They've mostly been weaker. Uh, we've seen some very large and dangerous tornadoes farther south in Texas. And uh, there again, uh, we're looking at a tornado in Colorado right now. Not doing a whole lot. Uh, it's uh, just kind of sitting out there over wide open country, and that's exactly Exactly the way that we like to see uh, these tornadoes. We have this uh, the chaser who's shooting this on the phone, uh, Kelly Williamson. Kelly, are you there? Yes. So, Kelly, uh, tell us what you're looking at here. Do you see a suction spot yet? I can't. I'm a little ways from it. I was trying to get it when it crossed the road, and it dropped down on us here, and it's pretty good ways away. I can't see if it's got great. Yeah, it's going to the ground right now. That's it. I call that tornado. It's it's. Yeah, it's on the ground right now. Okay, and so as you see it filling in, and, you know, the sort of common lexicon is that uh, the tornado is touching down when, in fact, all that's happening is that it's just getting stronger, and as it gets stronger, the pressure gets lower and begins to form cloud, and that's exactly how you see the funnel. You see it sort of roping down there. So this is not a terribly intense tornado. It's neither uh, very humid up here in Colorado, so you've got this sort of a narrow funnel coming down, uh, just beginning to uh, touch the ground there, but it's actually probably on the ground already, uh, just appears to be coming down, and that's because, again, it's getting stronger from top to bottom. So uh, we've got a live tornado here, folks. This is near Eads, Colorado, in wide open country, and uh, that is a fairly narrow little storm right there. It doesn't look like it's terribly strong at this time, and uh, again, in wide open country right now. So let's talk about uh, where things are going right now. Storms are all over the place in North Texas, as well as in the southern parts of Oklahoma. Notice how they've really fired up across a good part of North Texas, west of Dallas. So eventually, that's going to be taking aim on Dallas. A lot of warnings here. We'll drop down, first of all, west of Dallas. There's a severe warning right along I-20. This is a storm that did produce a tornado, a large tornado earlier. And you see where this is relative to Fort Worth. So before very long, this is going to be getting into areas where there are a lot of people. So heads up there in DFW. We've got a lot of weather on the way, potentially. Potentially. Tornado warning uh, off to the, to the north of that. That's a young county under warning right now. Notice the little appendage that's right into Graham, and that's generally going to be headed over towards Jacksboro. So heads up there, Graham, Newcastle. And then north of that, another tornado warning for Cotton County. This is getting up into Oklahoma, and we'll show you what's happening on the uh, high resolution radar here. We were seeing a very strong couple a little while ago. It's now sort of a broader circulation, but a couple of reports of tornadoes, including a stove pipe report. Uh, we'll go back in time a little bit, looking at a tighter circulation right there when that report was made. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Uh, also now, another tornado warning for Franklin, Red River, and Titus counties, and uh, that includes Talco. And then another tornado warning now west of Texarkana. Looks like this storm is going to be moving more northeast and may, may just bypass Texarkana off to the north and west. Alex, over to you. All right, thank you so much, Carl. We're going to continue to cover the severe weather, but also winter storm Venus and tropical storm Anna coming up after your local on the 8th. Tornado now being reported in our uh, storm, that southeast storm that I was talking about in Colorado. Let's take a look at some of the video that, we're, that is coming in. This is a storm that has come up uh, toward the uh, Cheyenne Wells area. You're seeing there, uh, uh, I believe, a big tornado, or at least a big lowering there, right, a, right at the center of the screen. I can't tell whether there's a dust cloud down at the ground that would indicate that there's a tornado in progress. Uh, they've just panned up now. You can... Kelly Williamson is on the phone. Kelly, are you seeing circulation at the ground? 
Oh, We've now got it is. tornado on the ground right now. Yeah, there it is. You can see now the uh, circulation is all the way to the ground, right in the middle of the photograph there, folks. And uh, how many tornadoes have you seen today, Kelly? I think this is number three. Yeah, that storm there that's uh, now uh, heading up toward the area near Cheyenne Wells has been a very active one. There's been many reports of tornadoes with this one. It looks like it's crossing uh, the highway there west of Cheyenne Wells. Uh, where are you? Are you uh, relative to the tornado? Are you west or south? I'm just to the west of the tornado. The, the tornado is going to be, it looks like, maybe just to the west of uh, Cheyenne Wells. Yeah, it looks to me that is that that's exactly correct, to Kelly. I would think that it is uh, going to cross about eight miles west of Cheyenne Wells. Looking at the radar here, uh, how long have you seen? Has, has this tornado been uh, touching in contact with the ground? Do you know? Uh, this one here, I think, just a few minutes. I was a uh, man. We're in some real intense hail right now. Uh, it's just kind of going up and down, but every time it comes down, it seems like it's just a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. this one is uh, the biggest that we've seen thus far, at least up at Cloud Base. It has a pretty well-defined wall cloud. Has that been the character of the multiple tornadoes you've seen today, that they've sort of been brief, You've been, but you've been able to follow the circulation? Yeah, most of them just been kind of an elephant trunk. But this one right here, it looks like it's going to be something a lot bigger. All right, thank you very much. That's uh, Kelly Williamson in southeast Colorado chasing a following a tornado just west of Cheyenne Wells. We have other tornadoes in Texas and Oklahoma. We'll be back after these messages. Stay tuned. Kelly Williamson, who's headed toward this particular storm in western Kansas. Uh, Kelly, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I know you've had a busy day tracking storms from Colorado now into western Kansas. Tell us what you've seen so far today. I think I've seen three. You've seen three what? Uh, three different tornadoes. Okay, can you describe them to us? Uh, were they in open areas, not bothering anybody, hopefully, not causing any damage? They were all in open areas. I didn't see any houses around. Uh, everything seemed to be in open areas, and that was sure good. That is definitely good news, Kelly, for sure. Now, I know you're headed toward this tornadic storm. We're looking at on the radar right now, tornado warning for Sheridan and Thomas counties. Uh, pretty dark out there right now, though. Uh, tell us about your plan of action. Okay, right now I'm sitting here watching the wall cloud is right in front of me. When you see the lightning, you can see the wall cloud in the background. And right now there don't seem to be a tornado on the ground unless it's on back in the rain. But right now, I can pretty much win the lightning. You can see the whole wall cloud, and there's no lowerings on it. Yeah, we had a report of a tornado in the Grinnell area and moving toward the north at 20 miles per hour. We're looking at your live feed, and I see exactly what you're talking about. When the lightning illuminates your shot, you can definitely see that shelf cloud out there. Uh, tell us about the hail. Have you experienced any of that today, Kelly? Yes, I had some hail, and I'm lucky to still have a windshield. I don't know why it didn't break, but, uh, yeah, I'd say it was uh, at least golf ball size, a little bit bigger. Wow. Well, maybe some dents in the car, and I'm sure you'll investigate that later. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Please be safe out there. I know it's dark. It's going to be difficult to do the, uh, the storm chasing, but uh, we know you're experienced, and you'll be very careful. Uh, we'll hope to talk to you again later on.